In this video, I will derive the Reynolds equation. Firstly, what is the Reynolds equation? Tribonet.com describes it as, the Reynolds equation is a partial differential equation that describes the flow of a thin lubricant film between two surfaces. It is derived from the Navier-Stokes equations and is one of the fundamental equations of the classical lubrication theory. It was formulated in 1886 by Professor Osborne Reynolds, and that's the same person for which the Reynolds number, which is used to determine the type of flow of a liquid, is named. The three-dimensional general Reynolds equation is shown below, as you can see here. And below the Reynolds equation, we have a diagram which just shows two surfaces moving with a lubricant in between them. So, as you can see, the top surface is moving to the right with velocity u2, and the bottom surface is moving with velocity u1. And P in the Reynolds equation stands for fluid pressure. X and Z are the bearing width and length coordinates. H is the fluid thickness. U1 is the velocity of the lower surface. U2 is the velocity of the upper surface. Um, this symbol here is the viscosity of the fluid and T stands for the time. The classical Reynolds equation can be derived from the Navier-Stokes equations and the equation of continuity under the following assumptions. Firstly, the lubricant is of constant viscosity and is a Newtonian fluid. Uh, the, ge the geometry of the lubricant film is very thin. Uh, there is a negligible body force and there are no slip boundary conditions. When these assumptions are applied, the following equations are obtained. So in these equations, you can see that X and Z are the bearing width and length coordinates y is the lubricant thickness coordinate, u is the velocity along the x-axis, v is the velocity along the y-axis, and w is the velocity along the z-axis. And these first two equations can be integrated twice with respect to, uh, to y, and which will help us solve for the general Reynolds equation. So by doubly integrating the first two equations, we can discover what u and w are equal to. So from this equation, we discover that uh, u is equal to 1 over 2 mu multiplied by partial p with respect to x multiplied by y squared uh, plus a y plus b and a, y, a and b are integration constants and from this equation we get w is equal to 1 over 2 mu multiplied by partial p with respect to z multiplied by y squared plus c y plus d and again c and d are integration constants uh, so we can apply the following boundary conditions uh, so when y is equal to 0, u is going to be equal to u1, and remember u1 is the uh, velocity of the lower surface, and uh, w is going to be equal to 0, and when y is equal to h, u is going to be equal to u2, and w is also going to be equal, equal to 0. So when we apply these boundary conditions, the integration constants a, b, c, and d can then be determined, and we can work out the velocities u and w. <coughs> so uh, first of all we have u is equal to 1 over 2 mu multiplied by partial p with respect to x multiplied by y squared minus yh and then plus 1 minus y over h multiplied by u1 plus y over h multiplied by u2 and then w is equal to 1 over 2 mu uh, by partial p with respect to z multiplied by y squared minus yh. So we can substitute these expressions into the continuity equation. However, we still don't know the variable of v, but uh, we can determine that the average. We can recognize that the average speed of a lubricant across the film is the following: v equal to dH dt. Also, from the equation of continuity, we know that the integral of the negative partial v with respect to y dy is equal to uh, the integral. Uh, partial u with respect to x by dy plus the integral uh, partial w with respect to dz by dy. And therefore, by integrating the continuity equation and subbing in the values of u and w, which we have determined, we get the following equation, which is the general Reynolds equation. If the motion of the lubricating fluid is such that it has no velocity in the z direction and only in the x direction, the one-dimensional Reynolds equation could be obtained, which looks a bit like the following. And to simplify this equation, we can consider one of the surfaces to be static, while the other will move with velocity u relative to the static surface. So therefore, we can replace u1 
uh, plus u2 in this equation with just u and we get left with something like this if we bring mu over to this uh, side we have this partial derivative here is equal to 6 by mu by u multiplied by the partial derivative of h with respect to x and double integration with respect to x leads to the following equation so we have the pressure is equal to 6 by mu by u multiplied by this integral here uh, in this case a and c are just um points on the x-axis uh, plus c1 multiplied by this integral here plus c2 and c1 and c2 are integration constants which can be worked out and then th once you've done that this formula can be used to, to determine the pressure distribution uh, between two points between in a lubricant between two surfaces